Okay, so this is an addendum video to the previous one I made about the whole jackpot situation. And I'm just gonna assume you know the basics about what happened and everything, but I'm glad I kind of waited this long to make the addendum, because I originally wanted to make it like the day after, because I just feel like I didn't say enough. Because this will allow me to mention some things that have happened since. <clears throat> First of all, there have been two more apologies that came out from the members. One of them, in my opinion, was still the very much the in the I'm sorry I got caught thing. However, the other one about the whole like um, black inkling with the fried chicken um, title. That one felt a lot more sincere and honest and even provided a lot of good evidence. Now, I still agree, I still kind of think that um, the people who did, the large platform people who didn't speak up about this are cowards. I'm not as, like, angry about it as I used to be, but, like, one of them actually did kind of address it. Squid School. And I'm glad he did. And it, I, he told some things that a lot of majority groups need to understand. You need to listen to the minorities. You need to just stop and listen sometimes. Another thing that I ended up seeing was a clip on SRB, I, I don't know the acronym of, I, I, most people just call him Dude, on his second channel from a stream, a, a, a clip of a stream, that made me realize that it's not as unfixably bad as I thought, the Splatoon community. There are a lot more people calling this out than I originally thought. I don't know if they're, they feel like they're pressured to do so, or something, or whatever. But at least it's happening, and I'm much glad. I, I'm, I'm very glad about it. But, like, another thing is the let's refer to the actual banner itself. Because, in my opinion, my main ire and anger is now directed toward Nintendo. Because Nintendo is most likely not going to do anything about this banner. And if they do, instead of removing it completely like they should, they're just going to make it the default banner they showed... Um, before the winners were decided. Which, in my opinion, is a problem, because if they don't change it, it's gonna be used as a white supremacist dog whistle, and even if they do change it, people are gonna know the context of it, and can st it can still be used as a white supremacist dog whistle. And the only way to fix it, I believe, is to just completely and utterly remove it from the game. Like, don't even replace it, just remove it completely if you if you have if if you're some if you somehow have the banner equipped it just goes to the default banner and i still feel like and this i've been learning a lot more about how much casual racism still goes on in gaming i thought a good chunk of it died out um after the seventh gen but it's still pretty bad Like, it's really bad. And a lot of the creators that were speaking up about it were black. Makes sense. But I honestly was kind of surprised that Yume Studio didn't make a video about it. She probably said something on Twitter, but because that's mostly where her racial takes go. As her channel is meant to be much more positive. But I kind of feel like this is the most I could say. I kind of forgot a lot of the extra things I wanted to say immediately after uploading the other video. But to make a long story short, until further notice, I'm going to stay in the Splatoon community. I'm, it's not as unfixably bad as I thought. It's fine. I think I can survive here. Especially considering I'm not the target of the hate. And am not going to be judged or look like an outlier for calling it out. So, I guess that's it. I hope to see you in a real video soon.